Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome, Stampin' Friends. It is um, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. What's up, Wednesday? <clears throat> Hump Day Inspiration Day. So this is Nemi Bastone coming to you live from Cooks Creek, Manitoba, Canada. Just 20 minutes outside of Winnipeg. Just trying to set up here. And hopefully you're here and can join me. If you are, then say hello so then I know you can hear me. Um, and if you're catching the replay, just comment replay. So tonight uh, I'm coming on because I didn't finish on Sunday. And as well, I didn't finish my Facebook Live on Sunday. I was just so tired. It was such a crazy weekend. Um, but, you know, my kids did well in their soccer tournament. And then I said, oh, our schedule's changed. It's changed quite a bit, actually, this month because we are preseason. So um, I had time to make up for it today. So today is Mystery Wednesday. So once a month, I because I work full time, so I can't be on here all the time. And I'd love to. I would totally wish my job was crafting all day <laughs> and creating with you. And anyone, speaking of creating, so I didn't get... I don't get to um, do as much as I'd really like to. Um, my job is very demanding, so it takes a lot. Uh, so once a week, I like to offer you different uh, um, inspiration. So today, or this week's, is all about uh, mystery stamping. So um, I will get started. But before I do, I just wanted to send out a quick reminder that celebration ends on February 29th. Um, and growing my team is one of the biggest aspects of my business and I love about Stampin' Up. There are some amazing changes coming that, you know, in a good way, that is going to be like wowzers. And if you're looking to make some extra cash, Stampin' Up really gives you that flexibility. Um, like last year I had to take, what was it, two, three months off and even though I did, I still stayed connected as much as I could, and I still made it in the top 50 Canadian demonstrators across Canada. Um, I slipped a little and was in uh, number 45 uh, in compared to previous years, but you know what? I was still in there, and to this day, I still enjoy being a part of the leadership team and the Stampin' Up! team. So my team has um, uh, just over 14 team members. Uh, we meet once a month. And we try our hardest and make sure it's either virtually or in person. We create, we share, we laugh, we eat. We have so much, so much fun. So if you would like to be part of a, you know, community that is growing, that loves to craft, and you're just looking for those friendships, we are the ones. So the Prairie Grass Stampers is where you want to be. Um, we have members from all across Canada. So please do join us. Uh, and if you're not too sure, just, you know, text me or message me, um, and I will help you decide. So, yeah. So, discounts is what we love the most. Knowing what's coming before everybody else is what I love. Um, the camaraderie, the community, the friendships, that's even the best bonus as well. Okay, now you stop chitter-chatting and let's get started. So, let me just make sure that I am live on the right page and I'm just gonna do a quick check and I'm also gonna do a quick sound check oh okay I'm good um, and let's get crafty okay so um, mystery stamp I if you're part of my newsletters you would have gotten it on um, on Monday so you would have had um, two and a half days to prep almost three days to prepare your pieces and craft along with me um, and then, as always, I finish and post the finished card. And if you share your card um, on my Facebook page under comments, uh, under that post, then I put you in a draw. And then whoever wins the draw, um, you have till the end of the weekend. So you have till Sunday, that's lots of time, to finish up. And then whoever wins gets my finished card. Okay, so I actually have two designs for one I really love, so I, I didn't want to, I had to try something different. Okay, so let's get started. So to get started, I'm going to flip you um, onto my table, like so. 
excellent. So another thing I heard is Facebook is going away with third party apps to allow you to live stream to Facebook. Now, that's a big concern because many Stampin' Up! demonstrators and other people in direct sales use StreamYard, Zoom, um, OBS. Uh, there's so many. I don't even know them all. And I was just starting to learn to use them so I could, you know, go live with you um, without all this, the movements and the <laughs> everything like that. But then... I found out about that and it was like, oh no, what are we going to do? So here I am on a standstill, waiting to find out what's happening. So I'm just gonna crank my volume because I didn't put my earbuds in. No one's really in the house and at seven o'clock my kids are on their video game time. So guess what, it's super quiet. So <laughs> as always, okay. So you need a card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, got it. And then I made a boo-boo here. Oh, I was going to get my Sharpie. Hang on. And I posted the right one. Okay. I posted the right instructions just now, but this is supposed to be four and a quarter by three and a half. And I always go width by height. So four and a quarter by two inches. And then this, this guy's just got to go. So forgot. I didn't edit it properly. My apologies. But pretty much, I think everything else is pretty much clear and you need a coordinating ink and this is for your sentiment okay so there you go but the photo there is there so let's make sure we got what we got okay so let's solve this mystery move that out of the way and here's our instructions oh I got my embellishments ready so the instructions of course are to score your card base so I already have, so here's my card base. So I decided to use Lost Lagoon. And then it is attach your DSP layers to the front of your card. So you had two pieces according to the instructions. So I have my two here. Now I chose to go with trusty tools on this one. And this is also inspired by the hot air balloon design. Um, I had created and couldn't share with you on Sunday because I just didn't have the energy. So this is all the instructions and details to create that one. So there's my two pieces. So we're just gonna attach that to the front of the card. So this is Trusty Tools. So this is the other um, set we are using in our retreat next weekend. So if you would like to come and check out my retreat, uh, we have a few spots left open. I've got five spots left. So if you're interested and would like to try us even just for a day, I did open it up for um, single day registrations to help fill the room um, and also just give everybody a chance to come check us out. Um, <clears throat> also, um, I have 30 kits, so I just wanna make sure I get rid of all my kits. And you get a welcome kit um, with treats and gifts. And also um, all the cardstock and whatever is needed um, to create eight projects. So eight projects I create two and Marie creates two, um, Ashley creates two, and Barb makes two. So we have four designers who are, by the way, on my team. I'm just taking a sip there. Okay, so step number three, wrap with ribbon or attach a strip of cardstock to hide the seam. So we wanna get rid of that seam. So with this one, I chose for Trusty Tools, this fun um, piece of designer series paper, which is a tape measure. So I figured, okay, I'll add that there. So we're just gonna add that on as well. So you can use whichever, or like I say, feel free to throw on ribbon on there if you prefer. And this is kind of cool because there's grid lines, so I kind of know where I am. And you can put your tape measure any direction. I don't think there's a right or wrong. Oh, I can't see my instructions. 
Okay. Uh, mystery step number four. On your cardstock layer, stamp sentiment. On cardstock layer, stamp. Stamp sentiment, create background. Oh, stamp. Oh, just stamp whatever you want to create a background. Another typo. Okay, we're not stamping the sentiments create. Oh, I guess you can. I see, because that's what I did on my other one. Okay, so you can stamp a sentiment or you can stamp um, anything you want. So I'm going to stamp in this stamp set. I'll show you it. So this stamp set has three awesome sayings. So you could stamp those all over your piece here. Um, I'm choosing to do the nuts and bolts, but this die... I should go grab a piece. Also has this matching die set to make all these fun pieces. You can make scissors, pliers, hammers, paint brushes, a toolbox, um, pegboard, like so much fun. Um, so we are using we are using this at our retreat, and the two projects are actually made by Barb, and then we have a bunch of sampling ones. So another great reason because there's lots of inspiration there. That's what I love about retreats is all the inspiration and the camaraderie and the the fun. It's just, it's so relaxing. That's why I call it creative escape because literally that's what we're doing. So I'm just randomly adding some nuts and bolts in here along the bottom and then maybe along the edge. So depending what you have as a sentiment, I'll put a few at the top because I think on this one, I don't really have anything showing up there to hide. I don't remember if I use the whole sheet. Okay, there you go. So that's done. We're gonna need that. So we might as well, or do I have that in my instructions? Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, so. Attach cardstock layer to the front of the card. Okay, so where's my card? Here it is. So we're gonna attach that to the front, like so. And you could attach it, I think I'm gonna use dimensionals. So you could use whatever you want, whether you just wanna just adhere that down, but I think I'm gonna be a rebel and pop that up. Use some Pop-Tarts, there you go move that stamp out of the way Whew, honestly I feel like it's already Friday but it's only Wednesday <laughs> that's not a good thing is it now I just realized oh I'm like where's my garbage can way over there because I'm so busy as well um getting prepared for next weekend's retreat but also packing up kits galore I usually have a helper, like um, a lady in the area who um, helps me, but um, she's ill, so she got sick. And so now I'm like, don't have anyone to cut my paper for me. <laughs> so I've had to do a lot myself this week on top of that soccer, blah, blah, blah. So thank goodness I have Barb to help with retreat, so that helps me out. But card club and stuff, that's a killer. So I've been cutting so much paper for a card club. Anyway, and I, I was crazy enough to create a design. I should share it with you. I should show it to you. And I decided to layer, layer sentiments. And I'm like, what was I thinking? It's so much work. Well, it's only work because I have to cut so many kits. So <laughs> wasn't thinking. Okay, so attach punched or die cut pieces to create focal point. Okay. So I've got a bunch of tools that I've already pre-cut from the designer series paper. I'm, I mean, like there's so many options. So I'll just, you've seen it already. Like look at this sheet. So it's, there's so many. So you can cut all of this out or you could use it as a background, but who wants to use it just as a background? Where's the other one? There's two sheets. Um, so there's another one here. This one's different, right? Yep. Nope, that one's the same one. So, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. So, and then, then you have this one. So, you have lots to choose from to really get this 
to have just fun. So cut all these out. So now we're gonna lay these on top. And now you can pick and choose. I don't know which ones I want to choose, but maybe I'll, I'll take a hammer. Maybe I'll fan it out like, you know, um, what should I call it? This one never ever wastes because you never know. Maybe I'll put that one in the middle. And we'll need some color in there. So, oh, I just realized I cut all my pieces with, <laughs> with the brown in it. That's funny. And maybe lay that one there and then our tape measure. Hey, that works. So that's pretty good. But we still have to put a sentiment on there. So I got to keep that in mind. So I might put the tape measure <clears throat> slightly over. So let's get this laid down first. Kind of like that. So we'll put our saw down first. Now, when I saw this set in the new mini catalog, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's totally mine. Because as many of you know, my husband is Mr. Handyman. And then my dad used to be a cabinet maker. Uh, my husband's been building our house for like 12 years. So he's used all these tools. So he's kind of a blue collar kind of guy and he never wears a suit. So this is more up his alley and up mine to be able to give a fun card to him and his friends who are also quite very handy. And then my dad, not too sure about my brother. <laughs> I'm going to pop tart that because you know me, I always like to just pop the ends. I'm always about popping. I think I need a bigger one. I thought I could get away with a small, but I can't. Okay, just pop that one there on the back so that paintbrush is kind of flaring up a bit. And then we'll put our level over here. I've been using that a lot. So I finally got my closet in. Oh, and the tile from my bathroom came in. I should ask all of you. I should add a photo and ask all of you because I'm really stuck on what direction I should put my tile and oh, I'm a little scared too because my tile is very bold. It's like Lost Lagoon on gray. It seriously is bold, but pretty. So I think, I think it is anyway. So we're gonna go this way, I think. And I should drop that a bit. And I'm gonna drop that a bit because as you can see, this one's also cut off. So I'm just gonna, Drop it a bit so that I can trim the edge. Just gonna trim that a bit. There we go. Oh, that's not very straight. There we go. And then our tape measure will sit something like that. But I have to see what our, how my sentiment will fit here. So, or it could go over here. And then my sentiment could go that way. Let's see. Okay, so my sentiment, attach cards out to throw, oh yeah. Okay, attach cards and stamp sentiment. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we did all our die cut pieces, attach punch cut pieces. Okay, so yeah, okay. So we had, we could also add a few more die cut pieces around there. So I think that's what I meant with that one. Right, because my other card is like that. So I'll share my other design with you that inspired this. Now, stamp sentiment. So I had, oh, there it is. I knew I had a strip. So I had a strip here of basic white. And then I grabbed from the set, from the stamp set, the Happy Father's Day. This is great because this is going to be way, puts me way ahead of schedule. But I think, hang on, I'm going to trim that edge first. I forgot. I wanted to taper this edge. So I'm just pulling out the banners pick a punch. And this is half inch, so this works out fantastic. And I really like this pointy end. And I'm still a flipper, even though it fits. I always like to make sure it's in that groove and it fits. Now we need this other end, so don't lose that because we still need that piece. 
And then now I know where my tip is and I can stamp my sentiment on there. Hopefully I'm straight. There we go. Mm, yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So in order to know where I need to cut my other end, I'm gonna take that little piece that was left and we're gonna add it over here. So that's my little trick. So then now I know, I'm gonna slide it over a bit. So I'm just eyeballing how much space I need so that I'm kind of equal. And then I just take my pencil, there we go, and mark it. So now I know where to cut my tag or my, my sentiment. So then now when I put this into the, into the punch, I should have it in the right spot. So equal distance. There we go. Ta-da! Perfect. So now all we have to do is attach this. Okay, we're done with the ink. So let's close that up. Now we just have to attach this. So I think it would look really good there, which means I can pop this off to the side and have it showing, or I can stick it right in here and have it showing. Hmm, decisions, decisions, so many decisions. Um, I think I kind of, I think I kind of like it there, but I feel like it's lost. We could always add another piece in it because I feel like it's not enough. I'm gonna go a little higher, maybe. Yeah, let's do it off to the side. So we're gonna put that sentiment down with dimensionals, of course, and glue. So we'll add one there, and then one in the middle, and then we'll just use a mini dimensional for the other end. So I'm not gonna peel those off yet because I wanna make sure, I want to make sure. Oh. There we go. Right. Oh, I missed, I missed. Okay, so I missed, huh? Let's add a mini on there. I'm gonna add a mini on the end because it looks like I'm hanging off pretty good. So I'll put that one, take that mini off, and I'm putting one in the middle. I was too far, so it wasn't sitting on top. So I'm gonna swing it over a bit more. Bit more, thanks. Right. Maybe there. Well, I'm almost centered and I don't want that either. So let's move over a bit. There we go. So I could definitely put two dimensionals there. Let's cut one off. Gotta use the right set of scissors. These ones I mark with my little charm, which was a gift we gave to our to everyone that came to my retreat. I always like to give gifts, so. This was a little charm that you could just dangle and hang on your um, scissors. So it has your initial and um, a jewel. And then it also had, I think mine has an owl on it. Yeah. So yeah, it's just fun little things I like to do. Okay. So our tape measure will now go here and we'll pop tart that as well. Yeah. Pop-Tart. Yeah, we call them Pop-Tarts. <laughs> that's compliments of Karen on our team because she called them Pop-Tarts. So that's the other fun thing we do. Come up with all these cute little names for everything. These are Pop-Tarts. Okay. Just hold that down. One, two, three. Just to get that tape down. And I almost feel like we need one more in the middle. Can I add pliers in there? Sure I can. Let's do that. So we'll just put that one flat. Okay, so we'll just add some glue. 
I was gonna pop it up, but I like how the sentiment kind of just pops. So if I pop this, it'll probably make that sentiment disappear. And this is a half piece. Oh, I forgot to cut the tip off on there. Let's see if I can get in there and trim some of that white off. There you go. Forgot. Missed it. And there. Ta-da! And there's our card. Oh, we have one more inch step. Oh, embellish as desired. Perfect. So I had my embellishments here. What did I do with them? There they are. Okay. So the classic matte dots has all these fun colors in them. Um, so we'll use the black. What also has the gray and the white. So there's quite a few colors we could use. Um, okay, sorry, I was over to get my tool. Gotta get my take your pick tool. It's way back there. So then, because I was busy die cutting sentiments, I tell ya. And we're just gonna stick a couple over here. I really like these big ones. Make them pop. Now, I could have also, I'll stick that one right in the middle. Um, nope, don't like that. One, two, and then maybe over here. So this <clears throat> also comes with a bunch of like, I was gonna cut them out. They're like little, where is it? What did I do with it? Um, the dies, oh, there it is. You also get all the nuts and bolts. So I was gonna cut those out and those would be great for background if you don't have embellishments as well. So I will show you, oh, don't wanna lose all these extras cause I can use them for another card. So the card that inspired this is what I, or the design that inspired this was the same design I shared on Sunday but never got to share with you. So this one, so here's two designs. Here's the other one, which is using the hot air balloons, um, which I shared on Sunday. And this is the other set. Oh, there's some markings on there. This is the other set we're using at our retreat. So these are fun. So you get eight projects in total. I think there's, oops, there you go. I got some marking on there. So, oh, it feels like it's glue. So we'll just use our glue eraser. Oh, there we go. It was glue. I thought it was ink or pencil mark. There we go, cleaned up. So this is the hot air balloon one. So same thing, um, here I use white cardstock. Oh, we have to decorate the inside on this one. And then, cause I use Lost Lagoon, so we should do the inside. Um, so I use the hot air balloon in the Azure Afternoon in Lemon Lolly. It also comes with this cute little heart. So I was able to die cut that and then embellished it with the clouds, which also comes with it. And of course, the coordinating paper. So there's two designs. So my question to all of you, and you can comment on the replay as well, or if you're still there, is which one do you like better? Trusty tools, so it's more of a masculine. Oh, this one's masculine too. Or hot air balloons, so which one do you prefer? Which card do you like better? So if you follow my measurements, you follow, well, follow along, you definitely can create this card in multiple different ways, as you can see here. And on this one, I did use sentiments, just a note, just a note that went right across there. And then used hang in there. Um, and then I used Wink Estella on the clouds. So that's the other fun thing that I added in there. I didn't feel it needed any more embellishments because the clouds were it's, was the embellishments for it. So let me know which card you like best on the replay, trusty tools or hot air balloons, and hopefully this card inspires you. So look for my post next that um, asks you to post, and then by Sunday I will do a draw, and you'll get to receive one of these beautiful cards in the mail. So thank you for joining me this Wednesday evening. Have a great um, rest of your night and the rest of the week, and I will see you again on Sunday. Happy stamping!